One thermostat varies from another in two principal ways. First is the style of the thermostat. Second is the temperature at which it maintains the coolant inside your car's engine. These thermostats here represent what you would probably find in a classic British car. This first one is referred to as a sleeve thermostat. It opens as a thermostat should and closes by opening and closing, allowing coolant to get to the radiator. It has the additional feature of this sleeve and what the sleeve does is it also moves up and down and will close off the car's internal bypass at the right time. This I guess we could call a traditional thermostat. We've all seen these. What this does is it just simply opens and closes as it should, allowing coolant to go to the radiator at the right time as it should. This last thermostat is what Moss calls a 434205. This is a special thermostat. It operates as it normally would, opening and closing, allowing coolant to go, but it has extra hardware underneath here that you don't see in a conventional thermostat. What this is, is a fail-safe thermostat. In the event that this thermostat fails or breaks, it will break in the open position. That means the cooler can still get to your radiator, and in the event that it fails, you can still drive your car home. Now the other area where they differ is the temperature. Classic British cars had thermostats running from about 160 to perhaps about 180 degrees and you can buy varying thermostats in whatever temperature range you want. A great many people believe that it's a good idea to run a 160 degree thermostat in the summer and a 180 degree thermostat in the winter and if you want to do that that's perfectly fine.